Even gardeners who aren't gardeners love to plant tomatoes. Seeds and seedlings are readily available. Tomatoes are easy to grow in large and small backyard plots or in a pot on a balcony. Maybe it's because tomatoes appeal to almost everyone in a fresh salad, in spaghetti sauce, or just on top of a burger. So here are some basics. Tomato plants can send out roots all along their stems. Strong roots are a good thing, so you should plant seedlings deep. Extra roots will help the plant grow quickly. Dig a hole deep enough to bury the roots completely. In this instance, we're planting upright. But some gardeners even dig a tunnel or trench and lay the plant sideways, leaving only the top leaves exposed. In a few days, it will right itself and grow upright. In either case, firm the soil down with your hands so the plant is settled. Tomato plants are vines that can't support themselves when grown upright, so they need the support of cages and stakes. When grown upright, your tomato plants will get tall and heavy, so your support system should be sturdy. Tomato cages and sturdy stakes that keep your plants upright and that can be reused year after year are a sound investment that will help your tomatoes thrive. Fixed wire cages and stakes should be set during planting so you don't damage roots later on. Other, more flexible support systems are now available that can be built around your tomato plant. Placed to grow and expand as the plant itself grows, these systems can be adapted to provide support as the plant grows out as well as up. You can expect your tomato plant to grow to at least 3 feet, and some varieties may grow to 8 feet or more. Attach plants to cages and stakes with soft cloth, never wire or string, so you don't damage stem growth. You can also attach plants to supports with garden-grade thick natural jute twine or sturdy stretch tape that is designed to be soft and flexible in order to move with the plant as it grows. Some support systems can actually wrap around tomatoes to provide support even after they've been growing for some time. Make sure your plants get steady water. Water towards the base of the plant, trying to keep the leaves dry. Never use an overhead sprinkler. When it rains, there's not much you can do but don't get them wet unnecessarily. Water regularly, allowing the soil to dry a bit between waterings. Your plants need a regular available water source, but be careful not to overwater. A few words about determinate and indeterminate tomato plants. Determinate tomato plants mature and ripen all their fruit in a short time. Growing determinates make sense if you want a large yield all at one time, like for making sauce or canning. You'll still need cages or stakes. They grow to four or five feet tall. Consider Celebrity and Rutgers of this variety. The majority of tomato varieties are indeterminate tomatoes and continue to grow throughout the season. Beefsteak, Big Boy, Brandywine, and most cherry types are popular choices. Indeterminates can grow very large, from six to 10 feet, and require sturdy stakes and cages. If you're growing indeterminate tomato plants, you'll want to prune them. As an indeterminate tomato plant grows, you'll see side shoots, known as suckers, forming. Suckers drain nutrients from the fruit. By pinching, you can remove suckers that develop in the crotch joint of two branches. These weaker shoots drain vigor from your plant's growth and affect the size of your tomatoes. At three feet tall or so, remove the leaves from the bottom one foot of the stem. Don't over prune the rest of the plant. Thin out leaves only if that will allow more sun to reach ripening fruit. Determinate tomatoes need no pruning other than removing all suckers below the first flower cluster to strengthen the main stem. Pruning won't positively benefit the fruit size or health of the plant, because determinate tomato plants mature and ripen all their fruit in a short time. Don't prune determinate tomato plants above the first flower cluster. You'll just be throwing away potential fruit. When your tomatoes ripen, it's time to harvest. 
Here's a tip. If you lessen the water a bit once the fruit begins to ripen, it will coax the plant into concentrating its sugars, making them sweeter. Don't allow the plants to wilt or they could lose their fruit. If possible, tomatoes should ripen to fullness on the vine. That's when they taste best and have the most flavor. When ripe, you can pluck a tomato from the vine with a slight tug. When possible, pick from top to bottom. Store tomatoes at room temperature. It's probably no stretch to say that the most popular vegetable to grow is the tomato. Why? Because tomatoes are great to eat in so many ways. A summer staple when fresh, tomatoes can be enjoyed year-round through canning and freezing in sauces from barbecue to spaghetti, as juice, even as homemade ketchup. It seems that the uses for tomatoes are only limited by the imagination.